Welcome to episode three of Etherton Events Saturday Showcase. And today we're going to be talking to uh, Tucson artist Ben Johnson, at least we claim him for as our own, uh, who's going to be talking about a series of paintings called Cataloging Infinity that are on display in the Etherton Gallery pop-up. Uh, hi, Ben. Hello. And Thanks for making yourself available to talk about your work uh, in our new show, Go Figure. So my first question is, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm yeah, so doing okay. Thanks for asking. And sure. I hope that you're hanging in there too at the gallery. It's a strange time for us. I, I see that you're in the studio. So how do you begin? And what is your studio like? And you know, what's it like when you're working? Do you listen to music? Do you like it quiet? Is everything, you know, pin neat? Um, set the stage for us. Yeah, it's definitely a neat studio, uh, <laughs> which, which interestingly, uh, when I have visitors in the studio, often they'll say something like, oh my goodness, it looks so clean in here. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily, uh, um, yeah, I feel like there is kind of a, a spot for everything in the studio. And, so yeah, every day that I come in here is a little different depending on what I'm doing. If I'm building canvases or building frames or um, doing the work of painting itself or what have you. But usually, um, yeah, I'll have music on. I love music so much, and it's it's music is a, is it's a source of fuel for me creatively. Um, Any yeah. favorites? Hmm. Gosh, I have so many. Uh, but lately, I've been I've been listening to of uh, Peter Gabriel albums, but um, yeah, I like a lot of instrumental music a lot. Um, yeah, it's uh, music is, is a big part of my studio practice, and um, this is where I work, right in the center of the room here. There's something about being in the center of the studio that feels good, and this is my main easel with the painting I'm working on right now. It's a large feather, um, and um, you know, behind me, some, some other work that are fairly recent, this large uh, seven circle I just did um, just last month. I finished finished that one. And um, yeah, so work is kind of always moving around in here. And Well, that brings me to my next question, which is how did you select the work for Go Figure? All of those paintings, to me, seem to speak to each other. Uh, and a lot of those paintings I made specifically for this show to, to kind of fill out and to specifically speak to each other. Um, and the, the assembly, the way it's hung uh, in the gallery right now is, is how I had it hanging in the studio. Um, and there's something about, I just kind of was, was feeling my way through those paintings and um, with each one, as I said, I, I wanted them to add to the larger experience or the larger um, sort of mysterious narrative that's, that's present there. I think each one kind of plays a little bit of a different role, sort of a different emotional role in the whole, in the whole display. Um, and in that way, I, I see it as, as all one big piece. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, that was new for me to think in that way. I've, uh, for most of my painting life, I've thought of an individual painting as being its own, its own universe, you know, and it's it's unto itself. Um, but with this set, I was really thinking about, you know, what a group of paintings can do together, um, mm -hmm. and I consider them standalones. Each one, they have they have their own energy and their own life. Um, that's very interesting. Um, the work itself is actually a series of small oil paintings on panel, and you've given it a title called Cataloging Infinity. What exactly does that mean? And I started years ago, um, and the impulse where these paintings came from was, was this feeling in me that there was just so much that I wanted to paint and I didn't quite know where to put all of these ideas, so I just started throwing them all on the same canvas just to get them all get them all out. And I liked how the, all those ideas started to talk to each other. Um, 
And so, so cataloging infinity is really about that, about, yeah, I feel like we have so much in us that, that we could never fully catalog, you know, so many memories, connections, emotions, and really the title cataloging infinity is kind of, kind of poking at the impossibility of that, that we could, could never really quite catalog everything that's in us, all of our interests, all of our uh, influences. Sounds like a tall order. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, well, thank you so much for sharing your wit and your wisdom with us, Ben. Um, this concludes episode three of the Etherton Gallery Saturday Showcase. And please join us next week for episode four. Uh, thank you so much. And it was a pleasure. Oh, it was a great pleasure. Thanks so much for, for this interview and for hosting such a, such a beautiful show.